Hi, I'm Mike, General Sales Manager here at Clarington Kia, and I'm gonna show you today a 2017 Dodge Journey Crossroad, just under 160,000 kilometers, no accidents, beautiful red color, it matches the building, it's gonna match your family lifestyle too. Let's go take a look. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this 17 Journey Crossroad. This is a fantastic family vehicle. Seven seater configuration on this journey. It's perfect for you and the entire family. Maybe you're the hockey family or pack it up and go to the cottage, but you don't wanna break the bank on obviously a brand new vehicle. Well, you found the next best thing right here with this journey. So let's start off with an exterior and interior condition. Walk around to show you all the things, dead scratches. It's used, it's gonna have a few, right? But we're also gonna review a couple of the great features on this journey, starting off with what's underneath the hood. So this features Dodge's 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. Now you're gonna get good fuel economy on this, 12.1 liters per 100 fuel economy combined. Not bad, not gonna break the bank, but of course, because it's a V6, it's a lot of get up and go for those uh, highway runs. Maybe you're taking nice long family trips in this. It will definitely be able to get up to speed for you. Now, as you can see here, as we get nice and close to the front bumper, we have some nice fog lights down below, this nice aluminum trim then there to finish off the journey. And then we've got that piano black um, front grill here as well with the cool Dodge logo there. Now, the exterior condition of this journey is really quite adequate. Um, for a 2017, you would expect a couple dings, dents, and scratches, which we will show you as we kind of move along here. For example, right here, it's super, super light, just hairline scratches there. I bet you a little bit of buffing would probably take a lot of that out. Now, looking at at here, take a look at these beautiful wheels. I believe they're 19 inch wheels. Just trying to look for the marking on them. Yeah, 19 inch wheels. Nice kind of chrome look to them. Got lots of tread left on the tires as well. And then taking a step back, we get a nice side view of the journey. As I mentioned, it is a seven passenger configuration. We're gonna get to that in just a moment. I'll show you what that looks like on the inside here. We've got this nice aluminum trim piece down here at the bottom. And then we have a small door ding right there i don't know if you can kind of catch it there right but just for full disclosure again i'm going to show you everything that i can find so that way there's no surprises when you come take a look at this beautiful journey moving around to the back nice big tail lights got that journey emblem down here the dodge across the back and then the crossroad badging there now the rear bumper couple scratches right but this is where the work goes this is where you load up the hockey bags, you load up the coolers when you're going camping. But other than those few little minor cosmetic things on the rear bumper, it's in actually really nice shape. Now let's open her up, give you kind of a tour back here. So with those seven seats up in the back, you have a little bit of cargo room. I'm not gonna over embellish, I'm not gonna oversell it, right? It's a little tight, but nonetheless, you could definitely probably put one suitcase back there and take the kids out, but I mean, if you're buying it for a seven passenger, odds are, you know, you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of space. Floor mats are here. And then underneath, we do have some more storage down here, right? So you could pack up maybe an emergency kick there or whatever it might be. Now to fold these rear seats down, really simple. Pull this tab and it all kind of flips forward. But you can see here that it's a nice flat surface. So if you don't have seven people riding with you, this side folds down as well, of course. If you don't have uh, seven people riding with you, you've got a lot of cargo area here. Maybe going to Costco, load up on the groceries. If you have seven people, you're floating around. You should be shopping at Costco, my God. Now let's move these back in here so I can close up the back for you. Oh, this is gonna be harder to do with one hand. There we go. All right, close her up. Let's continue our tour around the passenger side. Now you can see also there's rear sonar sensors on the back, so as you back up, um, if there's kids in the back screaming and yelling, you're a little distracted, the sonar is gonna alert you if you're getting close to something, so that way you don't bump into it. Keep that back bumper looking nice. Passenger side looks pretty tidy. I don't see any big dings, dents, or scratches to show you here. Yeah, it actually looks really good on the passenger side. Okay, let's go and take a look at the rear passengers, what they get back here. A Little bit of a surprise, uh, surprise, wow, surprise. It's cold out today. It doesn't look it, but it is. A little bit of surprise back here for rear passengers. So let's start off with this second row seating. They are reclining seats as well. They're not reclined right now. I just kind of have them in the upright position. Now you can see it's got a nice cloth insert here and then some leather bolstering and that's gonna be really good for wear and tear on the seats. 
right? And they look really nice. But now take a look up because we've got a rear entertainment system here. So we've got a DVD player built in and then tri-zone climate control. So the back passengers have their own temperature settings as well as that nice rear entertainment system. I love that it's in the middle because that means that all the passengers can see it even if they're in the back. And then taking a look up, there is some uh, vents up top too to make sure that it stays nice and comfy down here. We've got some RCA inputs a 12 volt and a 115 volt outlet here as well. So that way your back passengers can keep the iPads and everything kind of charged up. So that way, of course, they stay entertained. And when kids are entertained, what are they? They're quiet. Now, <laughs> to jump in the back seat here, you can see that that seat folds up out of the way really easy with just one handle. And then take a look at the back. We've got pretty good room back here. Seats are in nice shape, right? So that way the kids are back there stays nice and quiet stays nice and comfy to fold this back you just give this a push and then i want to show you this because now you can see with that seat on a slider right maybe you have a car seat in there back passengers have a little bit more leg rooms back there so you can kind of configure this whatever way you like now a couple other cool things here let's slide this back because we have under seat storage this is on the back driver and passenger side but lots of storage there right and we got another bin over on that side and then let's move into the front where I'm going to show you one other cool little thing here so you can see up top mom and dad they get a nice power sunroof up top here and then we have our leather seats with the same kind of cloth insert here and those are in really nice shape a little bit of cracking and that's so typical of when they use like real leather here though that just cracks but it's not torn uh, there's no burn marks and then taking a whiff definitely a non-smoker vehicle if you're wondering what that beeping is it's because i got out of the car with the key in my hand it's driving me nuts it's a partial power seat so it moves forward and back power lumbar but then the reclining part is a manual never seen that before but okay sure now hopping in here's one thing i want to show you which is kind of cool i'm going to turn down this heating for a second check out this so we've got even more storage right this car would be uh interesting to take south of the border if you know what i mean little little i'm not even gonna say it but you know what i mean right you know here we got a little storage here some hidden storage at the back eh, eh. all right i digress you get it <laughs> okay <laughs> looking up front leather wrap steering wheel we have our bluetooth and radio controls on the wheel on this side cruise control on the other side we have push button start oh and i should mention too i forgot um as this thing was chirping at me for the keys Here's our key as well. Nice looking key. Now, check engine lights on. Don't worry about that. We will get that taken care of. All of our vehicles are reconditioned very, very well. Reconditioning, different than safety. Let's talk about that re real quick. Reconditioning is different than a safety. Little used car shops do a safety. Safety, you can have two millimeters on the brakes and two millimeters on the tires. That's nah, fine. Ministry says that's safe. Reconditioning means that our dealership looks at them and says, you know what, cabin air, cabin air filter, let's change that. Let's do an oil change, let's change the oil filter. Let's make sure the brakes and tires are more than, you know, 40% remaining, 50% remaining. We don't want you coming back for your very first oil change and you're going, oh, sorry, we need brakes. You just bought it, right? So reconditioning is work over and above a standard safety certificate that dealerships like ourselves will do so that way you have a great ownership experience not just safe for, for the road so just as a side note so anyway i digress check engine light we'll get that taken care of obviously we'll get the repair done that's needed to clear that light etc windshield washer fluid same idea the car just got on the lot we did a very quick detail i wanted to get this out there because i know that seven passenger family vehicles are extremely hard to get right now especially on the cheap 159,801 kilometers. And then this is kind of our um, information display here, which you can kind of control with, uh, what I thought these buttons here, how do we do it? Back, oh, there we go. So here, let's just zoom in a little bit. So you got a couple of different options there. You can look at vehicle speed, trip info, the tire pressure monitoring system, vehicle info, uh, any alerts or messages, uh, fuel economy, vehicle speed. Let's go vehicle speed, there you go. And then actually behind the wheel, I forgot Dodge does this, behind the wheel, there are some buttons right here and on the other side, and those control the volume and the radio. So I, I apologize, I keep on forgetting that for Dodge, they're behind the wheel. Speaking of 
radio. We have the beautiful Uconnect system here. Uconnect is uh, the Dodge Jeep brand for their touchscreen system. As you can see, I have it on the climate control right now. So driver, passenger, you can adjust those temperatures independently, right? Rear climate as well. So you can lock out the rear climate so only you can control it. Maybe you got little young ones that love to push buttons or you can have them control it at the back or you can turn it off entirely like so. Our radio system here, AM, FM, satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth audio. Uh, so Bluetooth obviously just streams from your phone. Any kind of music you have loaded up there, it'll play. Our CD player, that's right, we do have a CD player. <laughs> also a DVD player on board, of course, for the, um, uh, what do you call it? DVD player, obviously, duh. Controls here, this controls your outlet in the back as well as your screen. You can turn the screen off so that the kids are, you know, driving you nuts and they're arguing about who's going to watch what. Well, just turn it off and tell them, hey, it doesn't go, go back on until you make up your minds. Because I know as a dad, you can do that. Um, there's a map update. Interesting. Remind me in 28 days. Sure. View map. Right. So navigation is on board as well. Our phone and then some more settings in here for the rear entertainment system. But ideally... You're going to either use it for the Navi or whatever. And then when you put it in reverse, of course, we have a rear view camera as well. Air conditioning, heating controls are also here as well as in the touchscreen. There's our CD, DVD player, etc. Some junk storage, cup holders, shifter, armrest, more stuff in there for you. Right. But as you can see, this journey, seven passenger with 159,000 kilometers is in beautiful shape. Before you go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Don't click off. Carfax, Dodge Journey. This is what you want to ask for, folks, when you're buying a pre-owned vehicle. This is going to show you everything you need to know about the vehicle history, including the fact that it is no accidents reported. We also have 16 service records for the vehicle fam. That's like gold because you know you can look through this. It'll tell you all the service that's been done at reporting service centers. It doesn't necessarily mean that it hasn't had more or less. Uh, well, I guess obviously not less, but it hasn't had more because there are some service centers that don't report to Carfax, whatever the case is. Um, but uh, yeah, there's some service history. And here's another cool thing. Look at this. We have the original window sticker. So we've got some optional equipment. We have the flexible seating group, the navigation backup camera, the rear seat video group, power sunroof. Look at the price of all those options. This car was $40,960 new. 41 G's new. And it is definitely not 41 grand from us. So this 2017 Dodge Journey Crossroad can be yours right here at Clarington Kia. Two ways to buy this vehicle. One, ClarringtonKia.ca. You can buy this car entirely online on our website. We encourage you to do so if you're from Kingston, you're from Niagara, or you're from Trenton, whatever you might be. Do that online. It takes you through as much of the process as you'd like to do. And then you can, of course, anytime pick it up in store or over the phone. Or if you'd want, come visit our beautiful dealership. That's why we have a store. That's why we spend millions of dollars here to make sure it looks pretty for you. You can meet our amazing sales team, myself, our other sales manager, Mike, just call and ask for Mike. One of us will pick up. <laughs> um, and you can experience that in store. You can take it out for a drive and then wrap up your purchase with us in person. We'd love to do that too. We're right here in the heart of Bowmanville. Beautiful store, an amazing, amazing sales team. You will never experience a purchase experience like this. I'm quite confident of that. But we would love to see you either in store or online because at Clarington Kia, it's your experience, your way, every day. Thanks so much for watching. Congratulations to who picks up this Dodge journey. Talk to you soon.